Hello, welcome to Everything African by Victor. Today I'm going to talk about an African president who was assassinated while driving to his office. I know this might sound crazy because we know how African presidents are normally protected by their security. They travel alongside a special team of security that is ready to neutralize any threats. However, the case of Mutala Ramat Mohamed, the fourth president of Nigeria, is different. He was assassinated while he was driving to his office on the 13th of February 1976 at a place known as Ikoi in Lagos State. So for those of you who don't know Lagos, it is the capital city of Nigeria, an African country located in the western part of Africa. Mutala had just taken power on the 29th of July 1975 following a bloodless coup that overthrew the government of General Yakubu Gawon. Apparently, on, at that time, General Yakubu Gawon was outside the country for an official duty in Kampala, Uganda. On the day he was assassinated, Mutala Ramat Mohammed with his assistant, Lieutenant Akintuded Akisehinwa were driving a black Mercedes car heading to the presidential office which at that time was located at Dodan Barracks in Lagos State. However, at around 8 a.m., when the vehicle slowed down at the infamous Lagos traffic in Ikoi, a group of soldiers who were hiding at a gas station emerged and sprayed the car with bullets. Both the president and the assistant were killed on the spot. The, the soldiers were led by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasuka Dimka, who was later executed on May 15, 1976 at Kirikiri Maximum Prison after he was found guilty of leading the failed coup. The assassination was successful since at that time, the only weapon Mutala and his assistant had was a pistol. Mutala was succeeded by Olesegun Obasanjo. At that time, he was the army chief of staff. However, years later, Obasanjo handed over the presidential position to a civilian president, Sheu Shagari, the sixth and the first democratically elected president of Nigeria.